So today for updates on the elevator, uh, we changed our mechanism. Uh, before it was, we were using elastics uh, for this distance to keep it uh, so that it would want to go up. But now we change it so that it's spooling in both directions. We have it so that when it turns this way, uh, this distance decreases and it brings it up. And then we also have another one on the other side that pulls it down when we're climbing. Uh, today we also 3D printed this hook um, that makes it so that once we hang on here, like that, um, it'll make it so that it will tilt this way and be hanging around this area. Um, so we intentionally designed a gap in between these two claws here so that it can fit right in the middle here so that when it's driving up it can lock directly into the center and it's good for positioning itself. Um, currently we're using 1775 to drive the lift um, but we're aware that that's probably not going to be enough power and so we plan to switch it to two. We also switched from having two arms to only having one. This was mostly due to material constraints and time constraints and complexity. We were worried that it might cause balance issues when we were uh, balancing on the generator switch. So we're doing a uh, drop down roller intake system. Um, so yesterday the plan was to do an over the bumper intake um, but the plan sort of changed today. Um, we're going to do a bumper cutout, but keep the frame intact. And um, we're going to have a uh, piston actuated arm that goes up and down. Um, we're using the piston so that there's uh, constant pressure on the ball as we're intaking it. And it'll have some give as the ball reaches the, uh, the frame. And it'll move up on its own and keep constant pressure as it's going up and over the frame and into the same um, conveyor system as we had yesterday. So this is the mock-up we made today. Um, so the, mo uh, the actual assembly that we're gonna make tomorrow is gonna be a little bit wider than this. It's gonna sit wider than our conveyor system so that we have room to actuate it up and down 